I had somebody mention this to me earlier and uh, this is a common complaint that I hear from people and something that I've experienced myself that when using or reusing flash drives and you're transferring bootable images to them sometimes they just won't work which leads me up to one of my favorite applications that I use it is called disk utility and this allows you to uh, fix those flash drives so that you can boot into your favorite distribution and copy those images over and I'm going to show you how to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. First, you want to make sure that you are logged in as root. It doesn't matter which distribution that you are using. Okay, and once you are logged in as root, and you will know that you are root when you have this symbol next to your name, the pound symbol. Okay, and we are going to issue this command, P-A-L-I-M-P-S-E-S-T. Now, if you do not have disk utility installed and you're using Ubuntu, just simply uh, do a search for it in the Synaptic Package Manager. All right, let's go ahead and press Enter here, and you will see the program has opened. All right, and then we will go here. We will select our flash memory here. And now, this drive is not... Um, mounted. You want to make sure the drive is unmounted before you do anything with it. We're going to select Format Drive and then Master Boot Record is the default selection. This is the one you want. Press Format on this and it will ask you are you sure? Absolutely. Okay, now that the drive has been formatted we need to create a partition and the type that we want to create is FAT. We can name the volume to whatever we want. Let's call this Live. Okay, and then we will select Create. All right, and now it has uh, created that, and we can press Format Volume. Okay, it looks like it's already been formatted and that sort of thing. We can other have other options, such as checking the file system, editing the file system label, and then edit partition. Once this is completed, then it's as simple as running UNET Bootin, or if you're going to use the command line, you can use the DD, the name of the ISO image, and then the of command uh, to transfer those images. If you thought this tip was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I upload a new video. We are counting down to the 200th episode, and uh, it's coming up real fast. I'm going to put it up this weekend. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.